I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. Tonight we're going to be making adobo chicken fajitas and I'm going to show you how we do that. So come on along and let's go see. Alright, to get started, I have about two pounds of chicken here. We're going to be uh, cooking these on the grill. Well, Rick is going to be cooking them on the grill later. But I want to get them into a marinade for at least four hours and um, so that it permeates the meat really well. Um, we are going to be using a variety of things to make this chicken delicious. I'm going to leave the chicken in this Ziploc bag. I'm just going to pour the marinade over it. I'll go over the ingredients and then we'll go ahead and put them in my little... This is a little ninja thing my brother gave me for Christmas this year, and I haven't used it very much, but I'm going to give it a try. So we're going to start. We're going to be using about a half of a large onion, um, about a cup of very thinly sliced onion, and I have very, one very large hot pepper that I had in my freezer. You can use a couple of jalapenos. You can leave it out altogether. You can use a sweet bell pepper, whatever you like. We're also going to be using about four cloves of garlic, one lemon, including the juice, we're going to be using a handful, and this ends up being about a half a cup of uh, cilantro that I have roughly diced or chopped, and I actually have the stems in there as well because you can use the stems. They have great flavor. And then our seasonings that are going in here are a tablespoon each of paprika, oregano. Well, you don't get two oreganos. Let's not be greedy. Um, cumin chili powder, and I have a teaspoon and a half of salt. You can choose to use regular pepper if you like. I'm not going to add any because I have this hot chili over here. We're also going to be using some olive oil, and I'm using an orange champagne vinegar, but you don't have to. You can use just apple cider vinegar or whatever is your favorite. You can use white wine or red wine vinegar, whatever floats your boat. Um, you can leave it out altogether if you like, but you really do need to have an acid, and I'm going to add a little of that vinegar in here along with the lemon juice to facilitate that. So let me grab my lemon squeezer and pop this. This, this lemon is huge, so... I'm just going to start throwing everything in my um, little ninja here, and we're going to waz up this marinade, and then we're going to pour it over the chicken. So I'm going to save my, um, my lemon uh, halves here so that I can toss it in the bag so this will add great flavor. In with the cilantro. Oregano, salt, chili powder, paprika, cumin, and if you guys have some like uh, powdered adobo, I know I have some. But do you think I could find it? Of course not. Um, or even a little packet of what they call Sazon, then you can um, throw that in here. It'll be great. And put our chilies and our onions in there as well. And then we're going to go in with some olive oil. I'm going to probably use about a half a cup, and it is really coming out of there slow. There you go. That works. So we got our lemon juice, our olive oil, and I'm going to pop in. I got this vinegar at Trader Joe's. A splash, probably about, it. huh? You want to smell it? Oh, it smells nice. Mm -hmm. Smells like vinegar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, that looks really beautiful. Let's have a look mm -hmm. at that. I want to smell it. Oh, it smells really good, too. Mm -hmm. That's going to make a nice marinade for our chicken. Let me get this out of the way. This uh, blade looks like you could kill someone with it. All right. Just pour it right over. Let me get a spatula. Oops. Sorry, honey. 
Okay, there we go. Now all we're going to do is, I'm going to pop these uh, lemons in here too, just because I can. I know I squeezed that lemon. Yeah. And get as much air out of it as you possibly can. Sometimes it's difficult when you have some liquid in the bottom of it, but then give it a massage. Get all that chicken kind of bathing in there. And if you need to give your lemons a little bit more of a squeeze, then do it now because there we go. Now I'm just going to put this on a flat tray. I'm going to put it in the fridge for about four or five hours. You can leave it overnight. It'll be fine. And we'll bring you back when it's time to throw these on the grill. Okay, I'm slicing up my last piece of chicken. Again, I need to apologize. Because we got so involved in our day that we totally forgot to show these going on the grill. But, in any case, these were barbecued on the charcoal grill. Rick did it. He just brought them in a little while ago. And... I'm going to slice these super thin, and then when we come back, we are going to fix you a plate and build you some, bur uh, some burritos, some fajitas. So we'll be right back. Okay, there you have it. A beautiful plate of fajitas for supper, ready for you to enjoy. Here is the chicken that we prepared in this video and uh, with the marinade and we're going to serve it today with some warm tortillas, some fire roasted vegetables, fresh tomato wedges, homemade guacamole, sour cream and cheddar cheese. You add whatever it is you love. Do you love a little pico de gallo? Throw that in as well. That would be fantastic. So I hope that you give these fajitas a try. They're perfect for the summer. They don't take a lot of work. You throw them in the marinade early in the day, throw them on the grill later that night and you enjoy. I hope you try it, I hope you love it, and until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber, so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!